Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how easy it is to create procedural glitch effects for titles in the After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, make sure to add few of glitch sound effects to your comp. So as you see here, I have few sounds that we're going to use in this tutorial and then jump to text tool and let's type here hacking and let's center these to our composition. And I'm going to choose here extra bold and zero out the tracking. And then on text here, animate, we're going to add opacity. Let's rename this animator to opacity animator and zero out the opacity. And then we're going to animate this start from zero to 100. So basically we have something like this. And then we're going to add on the same opacity animator. We're going to add selector wiggly here. And basically the opacity is going to start wiggling here. And what we want is to start from zero opacity and wiggle to the full opacity. So we need to uh, keyframe the maximum and the minimum amount here. So from zero to just something like this. And basically you're not going to see anything because we need to change this mode to subtract. And now it start from as it should be. And as you see, it's keep wiggling there. And it stop as it's get 100%. And this is what we want. So what we're going to do now is duplicate this opacity animator, control D. And let's rename this to position. And this time I'm going to remove opacity and add position here. And if we add, let's put this right here. If we change the position here, going to get something like this. And here, we're basically just going to reverse this keyframe, something like this. So easily we're getting this thing here. And maybe here we can add some random values. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, we got this nice animation here. And then we are going to Duplicate this one more time, control D, and this time it's going to be scale. And then we're going to remove position and this weekly we don't need it in this time. So here, going to add scale. And then we're going to get right off the star and make sure it's zero. Instead, we're going to use here the offset. So we're going to put this. Uh, minus 100 to 100 and here I'm going to just uh, make first we need to zero out actually the scale and here we're going to randomize here this okay And on advanced, we need to zero out the smoothness. So as it's not growing like that. So here, basically, I'm going to put that to 100. And let's see how this looks like. So as you see, we got something like this, pretty cool. So the key here, to make it very cool is the opacity animator and position. And in the next step, you will know why it's important. So now we're going to add a minimax effect 
to this text layer and nothing happened we need to change the channels to alpha and color and if we change here the radius you will see what's happening and there is direction on vertical and horizontal so we're going to just choose here just horizontal and we're going to get this look and here we have operation we're going to choose here maximum then minimum and we're going to get something like this and then what we're going to do here is add keyframe here and make random values for the radius of the minimax and let's preview and see how this looks like <laughs> So as you see here, it looks pretty cool. And now what we can do to make this uh, procedural here is uh, going to create here slider control. And here we have on opacity, we have this wiggly here. We have wiggle going to make this opacity wiggle here control D and here we have opacity correlation so we're going to link these values here and if just changing these values we're getting something different on the opacity but we're going to duplicate these and here we're going to rename this to uh, position, wiggle, B for position, and this for position as well. So here, on position, doing the same thing here. Let's link these. And then we can just duplicate our text layer and change text to reality and change the lock and the font we want to. And then we can change the operation and direction on minimax. Also, we can change the values on wiggle and correlation to make a little bit looks different. So and now we're going to add adjustment layer. And let's name this glitch effects. And here, what we're going to do is basically create a new solid. Let's name these noise effects and apply fractal noise to this. And change the fractal to turbulence smooth and noise to block. And here on transform, going to unlink scaling and put the width to the maximum here and the height to something like this and now we're going to pre-compose this and basically we don't need it here so on clutch effects we're going to add displacement map and use this noise effects map and here we can give that more details of the glitch and then we are going to trim this adjustment layer and duplicate it and then just change the values on displacement map to give it a different look so let's preview and see how this looks like and of course on the noise effects you can uh, animate this so for example here on evolution let's use time times 100 and it's going to be animated like this and it's going to add that nice effect animation here as you see so it's add more details to the glitch and for the text here let's reveal this and let's copy all these keyframes copy and paste them maybe after a few seconds and we're going to reverse these and doing the same thing here copy and paste it here and then reverse the keyframe and also we're going to duplicate the sound control D and here we're also going to uh, reverse here 
the sound effect. So let's preview this. And of course, you can create any text layer and then apply your preset animation to the title and just add Minimax to it. It's going to give us a very nice, cool looking and just put it below the adjustment glitch layer we created. And also you can add any elements animation to, uh, for example, create a rectangle with the animation and just put it below the glitch uh, adjustment layer we created and we're going to get a very nice glitchy effect here so this was the tutorial of today hope it was very useful for you guys and if you have any question just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching